if you're looking to set up a knowledge base for your customers to find information about your product easily, there are three levels of hierarchy that you will need to know before you start. Category, folder, and article. Let us say that you run an online store that sells do-it-yourself furniture. You can make it easier for your customers to find information about how they can assemble the furniture by creating articles in your knowledge base that provide setup instructions. To set this up in Freshdesk, you can first add in a top level category called Living Room Furniture Assembly Instructions and then create individual folders for the different kinds of living room furniture you stock. In this example, we have sofas and coffee tables. You can then create articles within each of these folders with assembly instructions for all the different sofas and coffee tables you sell. Log in to your Freshdesk account and click on the Solutions tab on top. Then click on the New Category button. Type in the name of the category and the description of what it is about. Here, you can decide what portal you would like this category to be visible in before you click on Save. Keep in mind that you will not see this option unless you have more than one portal set up. Next, let us set up the coffee tables folder. We can do this by clicking on the new folder button. You would fill up the fields here the same way as you did for the category setup. You can then link this folder to the category of your choice. Let's link this folder to living room furniture assembly instructions. This is where you can also set up permissions for who you want to authorize to see this information. If you would like only logged in users to be able to view the assembly instructions for your coffee tables, you can edit visibility by clicking on Visible to Logged in Users here. The other three options available are All, Agents or Select Companies. Hit Save once you are done and your coffee table folder is ready. Now, let us look at how we can create an article. To create an article, Let's first click here and then add in the title and the description like this. Once we are done adding the description, we can add tags. Tags are keywords that you would like to associate the article with. When your customers type these keywords, they would be shown this article. Here, you can decide which folder you would like to place the article under. The article type is where you will specify if the solution is a permanent solution or just a temporary workaround for your customers. You would then fill up the meta tags section. Freshdesk lets you customize meta information, enabling you to optimize your knowledge base for search engines and make sure that it ranks better on them. Once you are done filling up the details on the articles page, you have the option of either saving or publishing your article. Let us save this article. Any article that you do not publish will be saved as a draft. In the previous section, we saved this article. Now, let us look at how we can view a list of all the articles you have saved as a draft from this page. To access your draft list, click on the navigation menu on the left and then the All Drafts option. All Drafts is where you would be able to view all the drafts within an account. My Drafts contains all the drafts created only by you. Next, let's click on the article we just created to get it completely ready before we publish it. If you feel that something more can be added here or it needs some editing, you can do that at this point. In this case, I feel that adding an image of how the furniture is to be set up would perhaps make the solution article clearer to customers, so let's add that. Notice that any edits made within the title and description box would be auto-saved. The last step before you publish any article is to see what it would look like to your customers. To do this, click on Preview Draft here. Now that you have an idea of what your customers can see, you can move back to the interface and hit Publish. Now that the articles are available to your customers, they would be able to vote on the articles and provide feedback on them. 
If your customers like or dislike an article, you can see it in the article page here in the analytics section. This will show you details of votes and views. Clicking on the likes and dislikes will give you more details of who liked or disliked your post, enabling you to reach out to that person. Let's click on dislikes here to see the user list. Let's then close this box. If you've received any other article feedback, you will see it here on the right side. As you can see, we have received feedback on an article asking us to add in a video tutorial because the image is not very helpful. We will address this in the next section. Let us say that Marvin and I are support agents at your furniture store. We want to act upon the feedback regarding the video tutorial in the previous section. We have a video ready to add into the article. We both navigate over to the article. However, I am unable to make any edits and see an alert that says Marvin is editing this article. Until Marvin is done editing the article, I will not be able to make any changes. If your support agent Marvin no longer works at your furniture store, you might want to remove him as an author on your articles. Any account administrator of your account has the ability to change the ownership of the article to anyone else in the company by using the change author option. To do this, click on edit under article properties on the right pane and change the author. Once you've set up your knowledge base with all your articles and folders, let us look at how we can restructure it when required. If you would like to move a few of these folders to another category, you would bulk select the folders you would like to move and click on the move to option here. To bulk edit visibility, select the folders you'd like to edit visibility for and click on the visible to option to make changes. You can also move articles at bulk from one folder to another in the same manner under the article view. In certain cases, you might want your folders to appear in a particular order to your customers. To do this, click on the reorder button and drag the folders accordingly. Remember to click save here once you're done. If you require any more assistance, feel free to reach out to Freshdesk support.